Fear, Dream Saboteur Are you afraid? What are your fears? We are all subject to it. Fear arises when we feel unable to solve something. But is being afraid synonymous with weakness? This content was made to help you understand that fear knocks on the door of all of us much more often than we admit, but the point is not fear knocking, the question is whether or not we open the door for him to enter. Both faith and fear demand that you believe in something you cannot see. You choose. You shape your own life, and the shape of your life is largely determined by your attitude. This is an area you can control, and by learning how to control and direct it, you will have great power over what happens. You cannot escape a prison until you recognize that you are in one. People who chose to live within the confines of their old beliefs, mind drives, continue to have the same experiences. It takes effort and commitment to break old patterns. No amount of reading or memorizing will make you successful in life. It is the understanding and application of wise thinking that counts. You have to develop mental strength. And you develop mental strength with will. Will, desire, is the mental faculty that gives you the ability to keep an idea under the screen of your mind, excluding all external distractions. From fear to overcoming, well what to do to overcome fear? I know you're eager to learn more about it. So I'll leave here some attitudes we should have to overcome fear. Let's start with an exercise. Close your eyes and probe deep within your soul and answer these questions to yourself, what has been your feeling about the fear that confronts you? Anger, fear, anguish, sadness, hatred, lack of peace, etc. So, identify this feeling, let's go to its root. How has the attitude of dependency and influence on others been? Do you trust God? Do you really believe you can trust Him? Do you recognize the sovereignty of God? In an attitude of humility open your heart and confess your fear, or, your fears, now. Trust that all the strategies and keys to winning are within you. Confessions are attitudes of faith, he believes. You will get your answer as you position yourself. Joy and gratitude is a form of reward for your correct positioning. Fill your heart with peace and the certainty that you have already overcome this fear by encouraging and confronting yourself. Practical Teachings Against Fear Some very important points that you can follow when you realize that fear is trying to enter your life. Acknowledge your fear. Affirm your dependence on God. Declare the sovereignty of God, exalt Him. Ask for what you need with humility and confidence. Quiet your heart to hear what God has to say. Be obedient to what God has directed you. Keep worshiping God. Give declarations of faith, do not exalt the problem, and act in coherence with your faith. Persevere believing and worshiping God, certain that your victory will come. Have the best expectations. Enjoy your victory and rejoice. Have a permanently grateful heart. Be a living witness. Everyone will see that the God you serve is truly faithful to His word. But what happens when a person lets fear in? Fear attracts bad, haunting thoughts to our mind, and when we allow these thoughts to lodge in our mind, we let our heart be dominated by fear, because. For this we must close the door of fear, replacing man's natural fear with a spiritual attitude full of courage. But, do not forget, pride and self-sufficiency are anchors that we should never cling to thinking that we are self-sufficient, always be courageous to the point of recognizing that we need help, guidance, prayer, prayer. When a person allows fear to enter his life, what does he do? It makes it impossible for God to act, for God works only through faith. Fear and faith are opposites and do not go together. When a person is dominated by fear, faith has been gone for a long time. On the other hand, when he believes in God until the end and pushes fear with his firm position of belief in what God says and promises. What if fear has already entered? It's always time to take a stand in faith. If you realize that you are already dominated by fear, rebuke that spirit with the authority that Jesus gave you and start following the step-by-step -step described here in this video. Don't allow your mind to be occupied with wrong thoughts. Believe that God loves you, 
that his word is the truth and that he will keep you in any bad situation. God's love in us is so strong and real that it fills us with security and makes us overcome all fear. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear involves torment, and he who is afraid is not perfected in love. 1 John 4 verse 18 AR